Ahoy hoy, I'm playing a walk, and there are definitely some mathematically confused people out there. You may know of some already. Let me just say, 10 to the negative 17 guys, just to cover this again for the 18th billionth time, because apparently the people in non-sequester don't know how to count. 10 to the negative 17 is negative 17 10 times. Just like that, and on a little side note, I wonder if you could actually convince someone that 10 to the negative 17 is just negative 7. I wonder if JM Truth would fall for that. There's also the person that thinks that they've debunked pi and thinks that 1 over 9 is the same as 1 over 10. But what if I told you that there are people that actually think that 1 plus 1 is 1? And you'd think this would be really simple. If I have one spoon and then I have another spoon and then I add them together, how many spoons do I have? Well, as you can clearly see, one. Wait, how did two get there? Now, obviously, it's not completely like that. There is some people that try and justify it, like right the hand. Let's take a look at how right the hand tries to justify one plus one equaling one. All right, the hand. So one plus one equals one. What, Chris? You can't be serious. You can't take one of something add it to one of something and get one of something, bro. And people saying that would be correct. In all of mathematics, one plus one comes out to two for some mysterious reason. One plus one equals two always. We proved it with math. It's actually very funny that he should mention that because in maths, one plus one has been proven to equal two. And maths is the only field in which things can actually be proven. Okay, so if I have one coffee in my left hand and one coffee in my right hand, and I add the coffee in my left hand to the coffee in my right hand, how many coffees do I have in my right hand? So I don't actually have any coffee, but I do have cups of water. So I'll just pretend that each cup of water is a coffee. That should be easy. So I've got one coffee in one hand and one coffee in the other hand. I add the coffee in the left hand to the coffee in the right hand and I have two coffees. Would be still one coffee. The coffees in my right hand would beg to differ. So one plus one doesn't always and forever equal two. So obviously here, he's not talking about adding coffees like I just did there. He's talking about adding coffees like this. Yeah, like that. Jesus, I've got to go change my pants. It looks like I've done a Riley. On second thought, not wearing pants works too. So doing things the way that right the hand expects you to do them, does his math check out? No. And here's why. So in right the hands example, there's actually a few missing assumptions. The first one is, what is a coffee? Well, in right the hands example, a coffee is coffee in a cup. So the first thing you've got to consider is, a coffee means coffee that's in a cup. And without the cup, you don't have a coffee because it's probably on the floor or something like that. Now what right the hand is really talking about here is emptying the contents of one cup into another cup. And when you do that, what are you really doing? You're not really adding a coffee to a coffee, you're adding an amount of coffee to another amount of coffee. And the amount of coffee can be measured. And one of the really convenient ways that we can measure things here is using the measurement of cups. If I have one cup of coffee and I add it to another cup of coffee, I will have two cups of coffee even though they may be in the same container. So whenever you add an amount of something to an amount of something, you should always use units for the amount that you're adding rather than just calling the amount an amount. So yeah, this is really basic maths. I never thought when debunking flat earth and crazy conspiracy theories that I'd ever have to explain one plus one. So the reason why they say this, and it's not just right the hand by the way, it's also this person called Jason. The reason why they say this is so that they can say that maths isn't reality. Now, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but maths can be used to accurately describe and represent things 
within reality. So maths is very useful. If you don't think that maths has real world applications, then you should not be using the internet or even your computer for that matter, because both of those were built using maths. So this video was mostly a look at right the hands, one plus one equals one-ism, but I'm sure that Jason is just as silly. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell and all that. I'm going to end this video here because it is really hot. So I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.